Hello and welcome to Florida Focus, I'm Nadia Shalebi. Gabby Petito's family was awarded $3 million in a wrongful death lawsuit against Brian Laundrie's parents. Gabby Petito went missing on a cross-country trip with Laundrie, but was later reported dead. An attorney for Petito's family said, quote, No amount of money is sufficient to compensate the Petito family for the loss of their daughter. The money will go into the Gabby Petito Foundation. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department is investigating the second Port Tampa Bay death in less than two months. Yesterday, a construction worker was pronounced dead after two bundles of lumber, weighing 3,000 pounds each, rolled off the forklift, crushing his body when the operator hit the brakes. OSHA is investigating. A Winter Haven woman is behind bars after pulling a gun during a road rage incident. The Winter Haven Police Department says 25-year-old Benita Adams is facing two charges. Adams alleges another driver cut her off yesterday morning. When her and the other driver approached the stoplight, Adams admits she exited her vehicle and approached the other car. Adams pointed a gun at the driver and told her if she ever cut her off again, she would find and kill her. Adams then returned to her car. The holiday season can be a lonely time for those grieving the death of a loved one, but BayCare Health System is introducing a program that's meant to alleviate the pressure. To help those in distress, BayCare Health System is hosting free grief support sessions before Thanksgiving and Christmas. The meetings will be held virtually on Microsoft Teams and are open to anyone, including people who are not BayCare patients. Visit www.usfnewsroom.com for details on registration. It's an exciting day for USF Athletics. The men's soccer team is heading to the NCAA tournament. After USF fell short of the American Athletic Conference Championship, the Bulls earned an at-large bid from the NCAA to playing the College Cup men's tournament. This will be USF's 22nd tournament appearance. The Bulls will face Hofstra University for the first time in the program history. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. at Corbett Stadium, airing on ESPN+. That's all the time we have for this edition of Florida Focus. We'll see you here tomorrow.